Welcome to Agent Uber everyone, and let's talk about a hidden or perhaps an unintended mechanic within the Abbasid influence system that I found out a while ago. Let's dive right in. As we all know, the Abbasids build the House of Wisdom instead of the typical landmarks, and building other structures that are interconnected to one another that lead back to the House of Wisdom itself grants a tiered bonus to villager gather speeds, research speeds, and production speeds. It's actually very simple, as long as you build a structure within the golden zones and see a golden plus sign on top when you hover the building's foundation, that building will be considered a part of the influence system. That said, since we do branch out of our main base, it's not atypical to see singular buildings, such as houses, built to connect different concentrated areas or connect your production buildings to the influence system. For example, this small Abbasid town currently has 20 structures that are connected to one another, including the House of Wisdom. This is enough for a tier 1 golden age, but is 10 buildings short for the second tier. We do have another town center to the north with more buildings, so simply building a few houses to connect these two concentrated areas will link them together to allow us to immediately jump to the second tier of the Golden Age. However, this poses an important threat of course. If the enemy scouts and breaks this chain, you will lose that connection and subsequently drop the Golden Age tier depending on how many buildings were connected. Interestingly, simply placing a foundation over the destroyed buildings actually counts as a placeholder building that relinks other buildings together. And yes, multiple foundations back to back can still relink your structures back to your house of wisdom. Obviously, you'll still spend resources placing those foundations, but it's an instant way to restore your broken link nevertheless. And no, those foundations do not count as a building towards your golden age. They merely act as a link between already constructed buildings. So, if you only have 59 buildings in total, placing that foundation will restore you to only tier 2 until you complete constructing that building, which will be your 60th and grant you the third tier of your golden age. Remember folks, foundations in Age of Empires 4 don't work the same way as they do in Age of Empires 2. Once you place your foundation with a villager from distance, the building will already have a tiny amount of HP on it, but it's initially not visible to the enemy at all. Only once the villager comes within a tile's worth of distance of the building's foundation, you'll then see a visual change to the foundation and the enemy will finally be able to not only see it, but also target and destroy it. Hence, if the enemy destroyed the link between two major concentration of buildings, simply place foundations to relink the two without getting close to any of the foundations, and your opponent will have no idea how you've linked those two. If you immediately place a foundation to replace it with a nearby villager that the foundation becomes visible to the enemy, then they'll obviously immediately destroy that foundation as well and you'll lose those resources right away. Another important thing to note here is that you cannot force a foundation on top of the enemy units, so you'll need to place the foundations around enemy units if they're camping the place you've linked your towns. What's really important about this hidden mechanic is that you can technically abuse the system for forward production bases. For example, if you're trying to push towards or defend a sacred site and you're already in the third tier of Golden Age, but your forward barracks, stables, and archery ranges are all so far away from your influence area, simply place house foundations from your forward production buildings all the way back to the closest influence building in your main base. You'll immediately get the insane 20% production speed bonus on all of those production buildings, and your opponent will have no way to break that link. Quite frankly, if they're paying close attention, they should be very confused as well. Finally, the additional plus 5 fire armor to those production buildings is also the cherry on top, as that will make these buildings roughly 30% tankier against non-siege units such as the spearmen, men at arms, knights, and so on, all provided through a link that is invisible. Honestly, given how many small issues there are in this game, I have no idea if this is an intended mechanic or yet another bug they need to iron out. While this isn't the most game-breaking thing we've seen, it can definitely make a difference in the mid to late game as instantly restoring your tier 2 or even tier 3 golden age is no joke and giving a 20% production boost to a set of far away forward military production buildings with no counterplay available for your opponent should be considered straight up broken. If this is a bug, the developers definitely need to fix this at some point. If it's not a bug and it's actually intended, then honestly the developers need to remove this mechanic, as I think it's unfair to the opponent. The Golden Age influence linking mechanic should only count fully constructed buildings and not foundations. Remember folks, since the link is invisible, you'll have no idea this is going on unless you're really paying close attention. By the way, I did try Palisade Walls, and they neither count as structures themselves, nor as a link amongst other buildings, so don't even bother with those. Houses are the way to go, as they cover the largest area using the least amount of resources. Well, that's pretty much it for this hidden Abbasid mechanic, folks. I just wanted to share this with the community to shed some light to what I consider something the developers need to fix but is a part of the game currently. 
If you do know other quirks regarding the influence system of other civilizations, kindly let me know in the comment section below so we could share that knowledge with the community. And if you've enjoyed this quick summary of Age of Empires 4 mechanics and would like to see more, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel to not miss out on any future content. As always, thank you so much for watching everyone, don't neglect to keep your golden age alive, and see you all in the next one.